Right, so this is the aerobic system and this is the, the third energy system we're looking at. And um, this, is, this is used once the other two energy systems have run out or depleted. Um, so basically glycogen and fatty acids break down with the presence of oxygen to create ATP. So if we look behind the fuel here, let me do the last one. Um, so when oxygen is present, it's able to break down glucose which produces 38 AP, ATP and is able to break down fatty acids which produce 120 AT, ATP which is considerably more than any of the other energy systems hence the reason this system is able to last a long time in addition with the supply of oxygen that the muscles are getting. So the aerobic energy system production takes place in the mitochondria of the cells and these are the, uh, these cells are the power stations and they're responsible for converting food into energy like we talked about earlier. The production of energy within the aerobic system is slow to engage and that's because it takes a few minutes for the heart to distribute uh, the oxygenated blood around to the working muscles um, and it's suitable for um, long continuous continuous exercises such as uh, marathon running so here we've got Mo Farah down the bottom um, and it is suitable for this type of activity if we look at Mo Farah okay um, while he's working this system what you'll find is that he's producing some waste products and that would be uh, carbon dioxide heat and water vapor throughout the process um, on top of that, depending on the amount of time that you're running for or exercising for and uh, the intensity level um, that you're running at, the recovery time is dependent on that. So, for instance, Mo Farah here who's run um, a marathon at a reasonable intensity throughout. It's probably going to take around 24 hours to recover from that type of activity for his body to replenish, but potentially longer. Um, so that's that's the recovery process. I sp the the advantages of the system is it's the longest lasting system out of all of the energy systems that we covered, and and that's because of the amount of ATP, the amount of ATP here that it produces. So larger than any of the other systems. So the disadvantages are that actually it's slow to engage initially. It takes a little while for the heart to distribute that oxygen around. Um, and then I suppose you could say that you know it produces waste products, although these waste products are can potentially be seen as an advantage because it's the body's efficiency to remove these products so that this system can continually function at this level. Um, so that is the aerobic energy system, and we have covered all three energy systems, so hopefully you've got some good notes now, and then you can start to analyse the energy systems in action.